Howdy. All right, I'm here to talk about open source software, uh, free and open source software. I'm going to begin by talking about the word free. Uh, free, gratis, the Latin word means free of charge. Also, libre, another Latin word, which basically means you're free, you're free, like freedom. Um, with free software, you can copy it, you can study it, you can modify it, distribute it. This is not freeware, I'm talking about open source. Gratis is freeware. Uh, so when you get the application, you also get the source code with open source. This is like the uh, company's secrets. It's like Coca-Cola giving away their secret formula. You might not be a coder, but it says a lot about a company that's going to give away their secrets. Uh, you use open source every day. Um, your mobile phone is probably powered by it. The iPhone is powered by open source software. Uh, Androids are powered by, by open source. My iPod that I'm holding here is powered by open source. It's everywhere. Um, it's also used to power the internet. Um, all the big websites, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Google, those are all based on open source software. There's also closed source software, but it's a combination of things. Uh, the protocols that power the internet are also all open source. You know, the way networks work, the way things communicate with each other, that's all based on open source. Uh, where does it come from? Sometimes a commercial company will open source their software. That's where Firefox came from. Usually though, it comes from someone who has an itch to scratch. Like someone says, you know, I think it would be cool if there was a program that kept track of my scuba diving. And there's not one that exists already. So I will make this program where I can, you know, keep a log and it'll look really cool and I'll make a website for it and people will see it and uh, they'll, other scuba divers will also check it out and tell me things that they want new features for and they can contribute if they want to. Um, so open source is, it's really great because it's bounded by the internet. There's no company, there's no walls. You don't have to apply to get in. Um, you can look for the software. You know, if I'm a scuba diver, I can search for that software. I could be in Finland, and I could be a great scuba diver, and the guy who's developing it in the States, they can communicate really easily. Um, organizations behind them are really interesting. It's, it's uh, consensus-based because, well, there's no dictators. If you don't like where a project is going, you could take it and copy it and go elsewhere. If people like what you're doing, they could jump on your bandwagon, and it could uh, progress from that. Uh, this has saved a lot of dying projects in the past. Uh, Star Office, which is a great alternative to uh, Microsoft Office, kind of died, and then it became Open, open Office, which then became LibreOffice, which I recommend. I made this presentation using it. Um, check it out. Okay, there's a there's, uh, social side to um, open source developing. There's a website called GitHub. There's a million plus users. People have profiles. They show the projects they're working on. You can uh, collaborate really easily. Yeah, it's a cool culture behind it if you're into developing. Also, there are ways to make money with open source if you're interested in that. Um, usually, it's unconventional ways. Usually, you sell support for a product. Or Google, Google Chrome is actually open source. You know, they have a they have a way of making money, but they don't sell. Google Chrome, so it's usually alternative methods. I'm not really going to talk a lot about that because I'm not that interested in it, but you can do it. Uh, licensing is really interesting. So when you get a program and you download and, and you agree to the license agreement, there's a license to it. Um, there's a, a few different major licenses for open source. Uh, one of them is called the BSD license. This license basically says you can do anything you want. There's no laws that will restrict anything you do. In fact, you can take this open source software and you can sell it later on. You can take pieces of it, include it in your company's code, and sell it. No one can get sued. Then there's the GPL license. Uh, in GPL license, you have to give your code away when you, make, when you make a change to it. So this basically means that when something is free, it is always free. Once it's under the GPL, it is always under the GPL, and it ensures that your uh, software will be free. Uh, most programmers have a preference of a license that they choose. Um, I really like the GPL. 
because I think we can keep software free. Uh, you know, it's we can have great technology without economic motivations. As you know, you, you use open source software all the time. <laughs> Um, commercial licenses protect companies and profits. The GPL is the, is the opposite. It really protects people and protects freedom. It really protects people from corporations. So it's for the people, by the people. Um, and it ensures that software and its derivatives will always be free. Okay. Where was I? Oh, side note, for people who aren't programmers, these types of licenses also exist for other content. Like if you want to license your music, or your videos, or your essays under Creative Commons licenses, there's lots of really cool licenses you can do this stuff with. Um, if, you, if this stuff excites you, you can help by just using open source software. Just Google open source alternative to whatever. There is one, or maybe several. Use it to show, that, show how you feel, you know? Another option is to use Linux. It's a little more ambitious, but it's basically a, an operating system that replaces Windows, or, or whatever you're using, with a completely open source environment. Here's a screenshot of my Linux desktop. Uh, you can't see, but there's, a pro, there's like an app store that comes with Linux that has thousands of programs for free. It's all free. It's, there's 2,000 down there. You, don't, you can't pay for anything, even if you wanted to, on this system. <laughs> And these are full programs, these aren't demos, you know? Also, you can find a project that exists, and you can help, you don't have to be a programmer. Uh, there's lots of things, like they need documentation read, and proofread, and translated, and they need people using the programs and just reporting when things break. Uh, yeah, so you can help. And that's open source software. <laughs>